What's going on everyone? Welcome to Movie Important. It's a review of Ted K, the news film from director Tony Stone. Now before we begin, if you like this channel, awesome, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium, hit that notification bell, top to find coming next. If you like this video, awesome, hit that like button, as well as commenting below on any video that you watch including this one. So Ted K is of course based on a true story about Ted Kaczynski himself, who of course was the Unabomber, is played by Charlotte Copley in this movie. It tells the story of his time of living in the woods in a one room small cabin, and the point where he became very disillusionized with the concept of industry, with the concept of, you know, the, the advancements in computers and technology, and so he built bombs, killed three people, injured several others, and in essence this story takes place over about 20 years to his eventual arrest from the FBI and the manhunt and so on and so forth. So this movie premiered at a few film festivals last year. It was well regarded, especially for Shalto Copley's performance. But what Tony Stone has apparently done before I had seen this movie is crafted a film based on the manifestos that were put out, of course, in the New York Times that were, became a very significant portion of the trial of Ted Kaczynski. And what Tony Stone is attempting to do is get into the mindset of who Ted Kaczynski was, his overall genius as a human being, as well as the dangerous nature of his disillusionment, and what it was like for an individual not only to live in a cabin in the middle of the woods, because apparently this film, movie was filmed in almost the exact same location as where Ted Kaczynski lived, but what was it like for a man and to just kind of completely lose and unravel his view on society to try to destroy it, you know, using bombs and stuff like that. That's what this movie is attempting to do. And so with that said, does this film live up not only to what other critics have said, does this film live up to what Tony Stone is trying to do? How is this overall as a kind of movie take on the madness that was Ted Kaczynski? And yeah, I think I actually do agree with the, what the critics are saying. I think this is a movie that is not only unsettling and disturbing, but I think it's a movie that is quite riveting. It's a movie that, you know, I from what I... I gathered when I was watching the movie is a movie that never really lets you settle. It never lets you breathe. It constantly starts ramping up the tension minute by minute as this movie moves along, even though I think this movie is a little longer than it needs to be. But what Tony Stone is doing here is really getting into the mindset of who Ted Kaczynski was from his mindset of just people in the middle of his property who he felt was destroying the land. You know, there are scenes in this movie where Ted Kaczynski is destroying people's property or destroying lumber yards because he feels it's destroying nature. And then you get to see how he uses nature and his bomb technique, you know, bomb technique workings and stuff like that. But it's an absolutely riveting, well done, well shot film. You know, there are shots in this where he uses uh, Tony Stone and his editors and, you know, the people working on the visual effects are using reds and using blacks. And, you know, it really gets in the mindset of how red is a very uh, maddening color for a lot of people. It makes them like you know, when you see and get angry, you see red, and I think that's what they're trying to do. But what's also scary and what's also well portrayed in this movie is how Ted Kaczynski was a very soft-spoken, very quiet guy until he got angry, but he would never portray it really that well in front of individuals. It's when he would do the things like he would shoot at airplanes or I said destroy lumber yards and stuff like that, that you really got a sense of this guy is just not all there. And the fact that he lives in a cabin, a small cabin in the middle of the woods is crazy to think about. You know, it's one of those things where, you know, it's not something that a normal individual would do unless they really love living off the land or something like that. But the thing that really sets the movie apart is of course, Charlotte Copley's performance, which is absolutely riveting. It's an Oscar worthy performance. It's a movie, it's a performance that would probably not get an Oscar nomination based off the character and the Academy's views of logic and reason. But he is, he absolutely envelops this role. You forget that it's Charlotte Copley. You forget that this, it was an in the, individual that was of course in the a team and of course district nine but his tics his voice work his mannerisms how he just kind of truly envelops his character it's absolutely uh, an intriguing and kind of scary character but i think charlotte copley just does a spectacular job of portraying ted kaczynski i mean there's no if ands and buts about it he is ted kaczynski in this movie and he really portrays ted kaczynski in a very scary but very interesting intriguing light and just watching him kind of settle in this world and do what he needs to do and how he just kind of just moves and operates. It's just, it's crazy to think that this guy was living in the woods and just destroying people's lives. It's pretty crazy to think about. 
But yeah, I mean, in the end, that's just how good the film is. It really is. Even though it's scary to watch, even though if you lived in the time when this particular uh, situation was happening with the bombings and stuff like that, it's a film that just really gets into not only the mindset, but the disillusionment of individuals who, even today, I mean, this movie is very prescient even today with the fact of how disillusionment a lot of people are at this moment. But just the simple fact that it took one individual to kind of scare the nation and we get in the heart and the mind and the chaotic nature of who Ted Kaczynski was in this movie is pretty fascinating. So overall, I enjoyed it. Like I said, it is a little too long. It needs to be tightened up a little bit. There are some points where I'm just like, come on, just move forward, just keep going. But overall, I think it's worth watching. It's definitely worth something that if even if you are very uncomfortable with the whole storyline, I still think you'll find something interesting about it. So overall, I enjoyed it. So there you go. Anyways, that'll do it. That'll be my take on Ted K. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, comments below. What do you think of this film overall if you decide to see it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? All that good stuff. But if you like what you see on the channel, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell. Top the files coming next. If you like this video, awesome. Hit that like button and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.